biblical doctrine. Like, like you said when you started the uh, the introduction, you we talked about different races. Yeah. So that type of thing stems for like the black Hebrew Israel thing or the Israelite one West doctrine. It has a racism to it, and so if you're not a uh, Native American, Latino, you know what I'm saying, uh, you know, Mexican or black, you know, then ain't no, uh, ain't nothing else going on there. And that's what they're teaching. Yeah. So, and so me, you know, I believe that I wasn't an African, you know what I'm saying? And because that's what they taught me. So I was taught to hate the white man, taught to hate Africans because Africans sold me as an Israelite, you know, that's what they was telling me. I was an Israelite unto basically uh, white people. Gotcha. And so when I get on these platforms, is really to represent what the Bible actually teaching. And uh, this this is not just what the Bible teaches, this is what we should practice, like for instance, uh, how we relate to each other as people. Yeah, We need to relate a little bit better with, uh, with each other, no matter what the skin tone is, because- I know that bro, I mean, but we all we all choose right. how to spend our time. Right. And, and, and I choose to do it, you know, other ways with different things or whatnot, but some people uh, uh, like Marvelous, like yourself, right? You, you know, we all have our thing that we like to do in our spare time and you guys, try to understand what you're reading in the Bible, right? You know, right. and shit, shout out to you, my G. I mean, for, you know, cause it wasn't for individuals like yourself, you know, it wouldn't, uh, you educate people like myself, you know what I mean? So energy has to be attached to consciousness, awareness or conscience. And so we're energy, we're material, but we also have what you call a soul, which is immaterial, a spirit. And so that is attached to your, it's, you're housed in this material world. The way you love, you hate. All of these are the seed of your emotions. The spirit that is within you, the intellect, the mind to, that's attached to the, the soul. So that's what you are and that's what we neglect. And so scientists are right in certain things, but science without morality and being the con attached to the creator makes bad decisions atomic bombs and different uh, you know all these different things that these yeah, destructive things yeah science uh, you know experiments that they're possibly experimenting on that can be uh uh, uh possibly looked at on the devil side of the spectrum right. You know, God is good and evil, right? You know, not necessarily evil, but can, uh, if you don't repent, like we were talking about earlier, right. can let you go and hit that fucking brick wall at 100 miles per hour in a fucking car. Why? Right. Because you didn't repent, you didn't redirect your spirit, right? You know, uh, God right? You know, not necessarily evil, but can, uh, if you don't repent, like we were talking about earlier, right. can let you go and hit that fucking brick wall at 100 miles per hour in a fucking car. Why? Right. Because you didn't repent. You didn't redirect your spirit, right? You know, uh. God created evil. Yeah. And so what that means is when you look at the Hebrew word right there is ra'ah. Uh. God created evil. Yeah. And so what that means is when you look at the Hebrew word right there is ra'ah. Uh. God created evil. Yeah. And so what that means is when you look at the Hebrew word right there is ra'ah. Your child act up, what you gonna do? If you keep telling your child to act up and they keep acting up, what eventually you gonna do? You gonna whoop their ass. You gonna bring calamity misery on. <laughs> That's evil. Yeah. And to uh, uh, cause people to conform to its way to where they can, if, I, if they took the food out the neighborhood and stopped bringing foods to the market because they got control of it, what's gonna happen in the neighborhoods? Yeah. Everybody gonna start killing each other, destroying each other just to eat, even eating each other. You know what that means? It says man should not live by bread alone, but by, but, but, but by every word that proceeded out the mouth of God. So what that means is we need instructions from God. You no, know, God is good and evil, right? You know, not necessarily evil, but you no, know, God is good and evil, right? You know, not necessarily evil. I want to give all the praises and the honor to Yahweh Bahashem. Yahweh Shah Bahashim, Rechah HaKwadash, and double honors to the elder apostles and the elder bishops of Great Millstone. Also, sincere shalom to you other elders, Akim, you brethren, you few sisters, you followers of the truth, let me say shalom to the elect. Okay, I want to go in this video here. Um, it's titled, it's called, it's the channel Hoodstocks. 
Uh, the channel's titled debunking. The video's titled "Debunking Black Hebrew Israelites." G-Con number 65. Now, the first thing I got out of the video from the beginning is when they set these platforms up, it's automatically a staged event, meaning the uh, interviewer is not trying to learn anything new out of it. He's just setting the stage for the public, okay, to make it look more professional to come against Hebrew Israelites. I mean, in a nutshell, that's pretty much what it is. Instead of G-Con himself just sitting there and stating his claim of what it is. And, it, and it's obvious because this other Jake who's doing the interview and may have a following. And they're trying to get a message through to the so-called following. Okay, because of people, all people are led to some degree. And it depends uh, if you're going to be led righteously or unrighteously. So... We don't get mad at guys like this for setting these stages, these staged events to try to um, keep um, people from coming into the truth. Although we seek and we search for the elect. Another thing I've noticed is that um, uh, I noticed G Con's real name. We went back and forth in debates before. Um, but the scriptures uh, in Apostle Paul said, even does doth nature teach you? To have long hair is a sin. Now he'll say, well, we're not under the law. But, you know, Romans 6, I believe 14 says, shall we sin because we are uh, not under the law but under grace? God forbid. Why was he saying that? Because that's the notion of keeping the law to the best of your ability. Yeah, we're under grace because that's a form of mercy. You can't do certain things. But you're in violation of the first commandment. If you don't try to keep the law to the best of your ability. And that's loving the Lord with all your heart and strength and soul. I also noticed that these uh, Christians now are wearing beards. I don't know if it's the trend from us being Hebrew Israelites. A lot of things that he's saying is being a Hebrew Israelite. It still comes from us. A lot of things they're saying as Christians. They're learning from us. Quite a few things I heard these guys say. That they learned from the Israelites. You know, and I, I see this quite frequently. Like in his statement, God create evil and cause you to die. And where did they learn that from? They wasn't teaching that in a Christian church 20 years ago. 10 years ago. He wasn't teaching that. They were teaching you the devil. Now notice they keep the devil out of the conversation. I wonder why. Because through all these debates, they are learning from us, Israelites. Anyway, further than a lesson. This is not about a skin color. And now it's because of quite a few One Westers pushed that um, false uh, ideology, you know, about it's all about skin color. It's not all about skin color, but it, the basis of it from the most wicked uh, does show that. I'm, I'm just keep it like that. So at this stage of the game, you got our people who look as the complexion of other nations and look like other nations, right? So who's feeding these guys, these uh, Christians, um, their ammunition, so to speak, is other Israelites that are all about black. Black. That's all they push. But we push here a great millstone. It's a nationality. Now we have to also understand. That the Most High chose a nationality. He created all people. Everybody uh, is of the Lord. Everybody. And everything. Is of the Most High. Everything. Everybody. Everywhere is of the Most High. What you must understand is. The Most High. Chose a nation of people. And what's wrong with that? This guy, G-Con, this other guy that's smoking a cigarette and so-called cursing as a so-called Christian or whatever, which we don't look at it like that, but we don't sit up there and smoke, you know. They all have favorites, every last one of them. They all have favorites. And the scripture said, Deuteronomy 7 and 6, For thou art a special people unto himself, 
above all people on the face of the earth. Then somehow the Most High decided to change. When Malachi 3 and 6 says, For I am the Lord, I change not. And the only reason why the laws uh, somewhat changed, which really didn't, but somewhat, because the ultimate sacrifice, the ultimate ba baptism, baptismal, and also the condition that we were in and that we're in today. Amos 3 and 1, Hear the word that the Lord has spoken against you, O children of Israel, against the whole family which I brought up from the land of Egypt, saying, You only have I known of all the face families of, of the earth. Therefore I will punish you for all your iniquity. So, clearly, Malachi 3 and 6 says, For I am the Lord, I change not. Therefore ye sons of Jacob are not consumed. Right? Ye sons of Jacob are not consumed. So he also goes into the balance and he went into the stars and the quasar and the um, celestial events and how he's created into the bodies. Understanding that the most high Job not Job nine twenty four says the earth was given into the hand of the wicked. That's clear. It ain't us. See it's crazy how they want to include everybody, right? This is what they do. And the salvation of the Lord, you include everybody. Everybody can be the salvation of God. But the people that's dropping nuclear bombs, right, has somehow separated themselves from everybody else, right? <laughs> the people who's building those bombs, let's say that. The people who's building the, the, the system and everything that comes with it somehow is separating themselves from the whole situation. Let me say that. But when it comes to religion, it doesn't matter. That's kind of crazy. Matthew 22 and 32. I am the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob. Where happened to everybody else? Where happened to Baron? And then they had to go with the grafted in. That's another lesson. Those Israelites. God is not the God of the dead, but of the living. Right? So he goes on to say, is somewhat uh, he does create the you know he creates the evil and he punishes his his children. This has all come from the one west doctrines. Look, they hate the one west, or well, they don't. Let me not go say hate, but they don't like the one west doctrine. They don't like what we teach, but they read exactly what we're reading from the Bible now, right? So now you can say, as a a conscience Christian. That you have officially learned some things from the Israelites. But you've kept a lot out. And you're keeping your own doctrine. Okay. Isaiah 45 and 7. Of I form the light and create darkness. I make peace and create evil. I the Lord do all these things. Right. The Most High does everything. These Christians are learning that. So what about the other scriptures? Um, let me go to, what is it, Ecclesiastes? There's a whole lot. So, when you go into the just common sense factor of it, and all that happened to everybody, let's say that, everybody had their ups and downs as nationalities, um, but us, who caught it the worst through what happened to us, right, that's all supposed to be forgotten about now. You figure in the last days, Everything's changed. The Lord just said, well, yeah, you got what you got. That's it. No. Everyone will receive uh, according to what he's done is good or bad. Whether it be done against a man or a nation only. Uh, I believe Job 39, 17. Ecclesiastes 3 and 15. That which has been is now, and that which is to be have already been, and Yahweh requires that which is past. So there's no getting around that. Let's go to Joel, the third chapter. For behold, in those days, in that time, when I shall bring the captivity of Judah and Jerusalem, again, the captivity of Judah and Jerusalem, I will also gather all nations, right, and will bring them down, uh, bring them down into the valley of Jehoshaphat, or Yahashapat, Yahweh, uh, Yahweh's judgment, and will plead with them there for my people and for my heritage, Israel. Wait, wait a minute. You want to hear what Yahweh Shah is quoted? Okay, let's go. Back 
into Matthew, I believe the 22nd chapter. Remember that scripture that said, uh, go baptize and teach all nations in the same book? Okay, let's see what the scripture says. Let's see if Joel has some similarities to this. Matthew 25 and 32. And before him, talking about Jesus, Yahweh shall be gathered all nations, and he shall separate them one from another, as a shepherd divideth the sheep from the goats. This is what he's saying. His sheep from the goats. And he shall set the sheep on his right hand, and the goats on his left hand. Let's go back to Joel. I will also gather all nations, and will bring them down in the valley of Yahweh's judgment, and will plead with him there for my heritage, and for my uh, for for my people, right? My people separating, and my heritage Israel, whom they have scattered among the nations and parted my lands, and they have cast lots for my people, and have given a boy for a harlot, and a soul they sold a girl for wine that they might drink. You would you would probably imagine pretty soon that somebody's going to come up somewhere and dig up some fake history book and say this happened to somebody else. I'm pretty sure that'll happen. I'm waiting for that. I'm waiting for the answer of, of vocab and G-Con and the rest of them to break down that scripture. Where did that happen? They'll come up with some some book or something somewhere in, in uh, some made up doctrine. Right? They'll come up with something. So I just find it crazy and you know how <clears throat> these guys uh, are saying that we're teaching a false doctrine but white Christians taught that they were God's chosen and they forced a conversion of actually Israelites who actually spoke Hebrew and some of them didn't even understand it to follow Caesar Borgias or Serapis Christus or if you want to call it so I found that kind of crazy nobody goes into history and discuss that it's all about this new doctrine. See, the thing about religions, as long as everybody's allowed to follow any belief of religion, nobody has a problem with it. But even though you have hundreds of religions and denominations, maybe more, as long as people adopt themselves or, or partake in these false doctrines or the, all these religions, everybody's accepted by it. But the scripture says, if you hold in the Bible, the Lord is not an author of confusion. So I don't, I don't understand why, the, you know, the Christians, he talked about Mormons, and Mormons believe Gentiles are people who are non-Mormon. But that's not getting brought up like that. The attack is always on Jake because of the self-hatred. You got other Christians, way different denominations, different Christian hate groups who are teaching crazy things. But, like this guy and a lot of these jakes that are set up, are only designed to come against us. I, I never understood that. I, 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 I mean, I understand it, because we'd be persecuted. But all these religions, as long as you believe in worshiping a lettuce god, nobody has nothing bad to say about it, as long as everybody can be a part of it. If you really think about it, that's absolutely crazy, because if you believe in a god or a power you're still struggling for the belief that your doctrine is valid. That's all I have on that, Shalom.